okay you guys so i already pre-parted my hair slicked it back or whatever i really didn't slick it back because i honestly can't find none of my my gel i can't find my um edge control i can't find shit so i'm probably gonna have to go to the store before this is over but i'm just spraying a little bit of my spritz on it just to harden it up just a little bit because i mean i'm gonna put a cap over it anyways i pre-parted my leave out so this is what she's looking like on the side and i left a little bit of edges out i usually don't leave my edges out but whatever for the second video i did so just in case you guys don't know how to do it quickly real simple all you need is a comb uh blow dryer is optional i may not blow dry because i am filming and that's gonna take me forever but blow dryer optional of course black wig cap um i don't think you should use a different color i mean unless your hair is like blonde but i doubt there's any blonde hair bitches watching my video <laughs> so yeah uh wig cap and some hair oh and some bonding glue i like to use the salon pro exclusives this one like this one is 99 cent the 30 second glue to me is trash this one holds better to me so yeah this one i like to use this glue the other one she's trash these are these are some recycled bundles y'all this is some she's happy hair uh bundles very good hair i love this hair I've had this hair for a minute. This hair actually used to be long. Then I cut it into like a long bob. And I may cut it even some more into a shorter bob. But I'm not sure. I guess I'll see as the video goes and how I'm liking it. You guys already know what I'm going to do because you saw the thumbnail before you clicked on the video. But I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so we're recycling some hair today. Okay, sis? There's nothing wrong with this hair. I wash it really good. She's good. She's flowy. Run my fingers through it. This is the best hair I have. Like, I love She's Happy Hair so much. If you guys are skeptical about She's Happy Hair, if you stay, like, down south, like Dallas, <coughs> excuse me, or Houston, and you wonder, like, if it's really worth the money, because it's not cheap. It's not cheap at all, but if you wonder if it's worth the money, I promise you it is. This is the best hair I've ever had. Like, I've tried to go cheaper. I've tried to do, like, little vendors and shit like that no, no no hair has lasted as long as she's happy hair has lasted for me so yeah girl um if you have the money or if you want to invest in it i definitely say invest in it because the hair lasts forever i don't even know how long i've had this hair honestly because i've just had it for so long and it's been it's, it's been good and it's been consistent this whole time but right now i'm just stretching out the cap a little bit to put on my big ass head this video may just be mainly music and speed up and maybe a little voiceover because this shit is honestly very easy to do it's very repetitive let's see like the hair stopped like right here so yeah we're gonna see how short i'm gonna cut it because i think i think i want it to be short and if you're a and if you're a beginner at like this quick weave stuff i would recommend you get you like a white um what is it called a white eyeliner or something you can mark on your hair so you can know where your scalp is and where your leave out is so that you don't accidentally glue a track on there i'm gonna go ahead and mark mine i don't ever have to do that because i've been doing this and i just kind of know but i'm gonna put a mark right there put a mark right there and this is kind of where my edges is i'm gonna put a mark right there and i'm gonna take my track boom turn around and I'm gonna apply it at the bottom so you don't want to apply it like up here you know you want to get it towards the bottom as possible because that's when that's what's gonna help the quick weave be secure longer I feel like quick weaves um quick weaves can last between like two weeks you can push three you know, maybe the third week you may have to go back in and reconstruct some tracks or whatever, re-glue some tracks. If I wasn't filming, I would blow dry, but you would want to get your blow dryer and blow dry the track. And that's going to really help it, like, really stick. I may just go in and blow dry it at the end because I'm trying to get through this video. And if I do that, I'm never going to finish. So, yeah.
as I'm laying my tracks, since this was like a middle part bob, the, the whiffs are shorter. So they don't fit like all around my head. So I'm like, you know, laying one right here up until this point, then I'm following and piecing it together. I just want to let you guys know that just in case you guys couldn't understand or see um, what I was doing. to kind of close up everything and just to make sure everything is like on one accord laying flat so you guys have been seeing me lay the tracks this way right and around but when I get to the front part I'm gonna start laying my tracks horizontally or no vertically excuse me vertically and then we're gonna use that to close up the tracks like y'all remember when invisible parts was in and like we used to lay them like that uh-uh we won't do that no more so so when i cut this part out and part my leave out it lays flat that way you feel me so that's what we're gonna do boom like so and then i'm gonna do the same thing oh i want some hair got caught give me a little hump and then i'm gonna do the same thing on this side and just meet it with the other one to just kind of close it up so that it's just one single track showing all the way around. Not, I don't know how to describe it, but it's just like, it looks very messy. If it's, I don't know how to describe it, but you guys saw, hopefully you guys saw. This is like my second hair video I've done in like a week or two. And I'm trying to get better at doing hair videos. So that's why I'm trying to practice more and do them with you guys. So if my explaining be a little off, just work with me. I'm gonna get better at it, I promise. But that's why I'm starting to do them more because I really do wanna practice doing hair videos because I just feel like it's time for me to start practicing. So yeah, but like, I can do my own hair or whatever, but explaining or doing other people's hair, I suck at that shit. But like I said, I'm trying to do better. So hopefully you guys are getting something from this video. And if you're not getting something from this video, you know, hopefully it's providing you with some sort of entertainment while you ain't got shit else to do. You know, hopefully y'all don't mind just kicking it with a bitch. Okay guys, so this is the finished product of my hair. I um did like the little swoop, tuck under, bang thing. I really like that look, which is another reason why I was laying the tracks 
which is another reason why I was laying the tracks like this so it would like fall nicely in front of my face like this. So yeah, I just added, you know, did my edges and this is how short that I ended up cutting it. So yeah, I really, really like it. I really fuck with it. I hope you guys do too. Um, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't, get, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. Please fucking comment. And don't forget to subscribe because y'all be forgetting to comment. Like, I don't be understanding what's the problem, but it's okay. It's okay. If I got to work for y'all comments, I will work for them bitches. I ain't tripping. But yeah, I love you guys so, so, so much. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I do hope you guys like the way this came out. hope that you found it helpful. If it's something that you feel like I missed or didn't explain correctly or thoroughly, feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll try to answer them the best that I can. But yeah, I love you guys so much. See you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.